Activity is one part in sales that's super important, but you need to be focusing on the outcome. Sales is a numbers game. It's all about the numbers. How much are you putting into activity to get a certain amount back? But oftentimes people are just focusing on the activity levels. You have to look at both sides of it. So you need to say, this is how much activity you need to do. Whether it's calls, emails, cold visits, follow-ups, all of that stuff. You have to have numbers set so you can monitor and track your personal performance, your sales team's performance. But if you're not looking at the outcome, then how could you possibly know what changes you need to make in the strategy? Sales is not just about a, this is what I'm gonna do for the next six months, every single day, every single week, and not bring my head up for air. I'm just gonna be engulfed in this. You have to pivot and make adjustments based on what's working. One aspect of that is if you're making calls. We're making hundreds of calls here every single week, probably 500 to 1500 calls here. But the way that we track the outcome is I want to break a phone call down to how many voicemails did you leave? How many wrong numbers did you get? How many times did you actually connect with somebody to look at all those percentages to say, all right, you made a hundred phone calls, you talked to 10 people. How were those conversations? And look at it on a weekly basis. You left 85 voicemails and five people had the wrong number. Each of those pieces of information is gonna tell you something about your strategy. If you've got a lot of wrong numbers, then you've got bad data. If you're connecting with people but nobody's booking appointments or going to the next stage in the pipeline, then you're probably saying something wrong or maybe it is the wrong people that you're going after. But each piece of information is gonna tell you something. When you're leaving voicemails, the purpose of the voicemail is to create brand awareness from it. People are typically not gonna call you back so you don't need to leave lengthy voicemails. Now the script of the voicemail, you need to adjust and change based on the data of what's working. When you leave the voicemail, you need to then send an email. That's just one area of sales. As you're doing email marketing, everything, you have to look at it from the standpoint of, I'm gonna send this stuff out, I'm gonna do this level of activity, then I'm going to audit the results based on that, and you may have to make an adjustment two, three, four weeks in to get to the perfect point to where you can measure it and say, look, at, at the end of the day, the month, this is how much I put into it, this is how much I'm getting out, these are the changes that I wanna make. Once you get it to the perfect equation of these are cold visits, these are cold calls, these are trade shows, these are emails, these are LinkedIn messages, connection requests, advertising spend, like all that stuff. Once you look at it and say, this is the outcome, attribute deals and opportunities from that and work it through your pipeline. Like you may look at your deals and say, the sources of these deals are coming from one of these three things. We need to focus more attention on that and maybe increase the level of activity on there and see if it is a linear relationship of, if I was to increase the amount of calls I make by 50%, am I going to increase the amount of opportunities I get? It most likely is not going to be a linear relationship, but it depends on what you're doing. So you always have to look at it from, set up your activity levels, measure the results, look at the outcome that you're getting, track all of the data possible, every single piece of information, when you get opportunities, when you get sales, when you get things to sell and you close people, then go back up the chain and say, where did this come from? How many times did I have to call somebody? How many emails did this person get? And then adjust and pivot your strategy based on that. Part of it has to do with the person doing the work. If it's calls, pitches, emails, stuff like that, who's creating, that's like the creative behind it, right? So like, what is the script that you're saying on the call? How are you pitching to people? What is the success rate of that? Where did that source of an opportunity come from? You have to look at all of that because that is the secret to how you're gonna increase your outcome. But too often people are just saying, do this every single week, here's the outcomes, measure the outcomes, but not go back and adjust the strategy. At the end of the day, all that matters is are you turning money over? Are you closing business? getting the money from them and putting it into your bank account, getting the orders, whatever it is that you're selling. Is that what's happening? Because if it's not what's happening, if nothing good is coming from it, then you have to go back up the chain and say, top of the funnel, this is the change that we need to make based on this is the outcome. You don't wanna just hyper-focus on it over a week or two weeks or a month. You have to allow time for things to actually work. Like if I call somebody today, I'm not expecting them to call me back for a week. I'm not expecting one deal to come from one phone call. I'm expecting it to take six, seven, eight times of touching somebody before I get an opportunity. Sometimes it happens where the second time you call somebody, the second time you email somebody, they're like, hey, you know what? Good timing. That's timing coming into it. Good timing, I actually do have a need. Hey, thanks for actually talking to me today because we just did have a meeting earlier today to have solved this problem and I think that you can solve it for me. Let me hear your pitch. That can happen, 
But if you go into it with those expectations and you're constantly going to be adjusting your strategy, making changes all over the place, you're not going to give the, the strategy time to allow it to see if it's working or not to be able to then make an adjustment down the road and see if there is a good outcome from it. You're just going to be all over the place. So you have to let it work. Just don't let it work too long and make micro adjustments on a weekly basis, make macro adjustments on a monthly basis, and go back to the data and support every decision you make based on the outcome of your efforts. If you guys got valuable information out of this, share it with one person you know, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. If you want to listen to this in a podcast format, go over to Technical Sales and Marketing on every major podcast platform. Follow me over on LinkedIn and we will see you on the next one.